Golf's supposed to be a game of, you know, testing oneself against oneself. The golf course is just an element that's there to bring those things out. And I'd proved to myself that I, I had a chance and then worked hard enough, got lucky enough, and, uh, and made it for a long time. And I've played over 800 tournaments. Fortunately or unfortunately for me, I went straight to the PGA Tour. I never played any other tours. In, in our world, I went straight to the show and uh, had to learn how to play once I got to the show, but I was very fortunate there. My name is Mark Brooks, and I'm a traveling PGA Tour, Champions Tour golfer. I was fortunate enough to be able to go to the University of Texas and played four years there. And uh, by my junior year, I started playing a little, enough good golf to consider, you know, maybe trying it as a professional and uh, turn pro uh, right after college. You know, you think you're really good. Uh, when you come out of college, you know, you're All-American. Uh, so you think you're gonna make it easily. And uh, you get out there and you start mixing it up with the guys that have been doing it for, you know, five, 10, 15, 20 years. Uh, that have become very proficient at their at their craft and uh, you realize you have a lot of shortcomings. You know, I think I learn something every day. You don't try to, don't consciously. I mean, life experiences come for me with stretches. Uh, you know, it's just not going to happen in a moment. I think playing the PGA Tour as long as I have, that was probably my greatest achievement. And I've played over 800 tournaments and when you start doing the math, you just go, that's insane. I mean, if you played you know, 20 tournaments a year, that's 40 years. Now Mark Brooks for victory. I think the game of golf does have some challenges. It's not just how long it takes to play or how difficult the sport is. It's gotten expensive uh, in a lot of cases. So we've got to figure out how to get golf. I'm not going to say cheap, that's the wrong term to use, but it's got to become affordable to a broader range of, of, of people. The cool thing about golf, which it is changing a little bit now, but golf's only about one thing, it was a score. It didn't matter, you know, how tall or short or fast or, uh, you know, strong or that you were, it was what score you shot. But today's world, a lot more analyzing of people from the outside, you know, even from their inner circle. Because I felt like golf was a sport for pretty much any size person, any strength ability. And uh, they're, it's like they're trying to change it under our feet here. And if you're not, you know, some superhuman athlete, then you might as well pick something else. In my opinion, it's to, it's, to the detriment of sport and, the, and what sport's really about, which is the human endeavor to do something that you don't think you can do, but then you realize you can through hard work, perseverance, and pain sometimes. Golf's become more difficult as I've gotten older. Your mind wants your body to do certain things, and then sometimes your, your body just doesn't listen. I mean, I've had knee issues, back issues, herniated discs, you know, when you're, I'm going to say your prime or your more prime years, you could go reproduce a shot eight or nine out of ten times. As you get older, it's far more difficult to make, have your body repeat those things. That should lead you segue into what are you going to do for the rest of your life. I would say having joy or satisfaction from playing golf, it's definitely evolved for me over the years. The biggest things I've done in my career, played over 800 events more than anybody's ever played. And number two, I've hit very few shots, but very few shots where I didn't give it my full, utmost, 100% effort and attention. And I mean, if you can go by those, you know, trying on every shot, being professional, taking pride in what you do, it'll take you a long way.